Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Beth Bay here and today I'll be sharing with you my pickups from the Retro Collect video game market that was held in Doncaster Dome on March the 3rd. Just want to start off by saying guys how amazing the event actually was this time around. It was so good, really good deals this time um, and it was really really busy with sellers and buyers this year. It was crazy. I actually decided this year that I'd get an early bird ticket and I went really early and even though I turned up early there was still a huge queue to get in guys. It seemed like nearly everyone bought an early bird ticket this this year. It was manic. So yeah, very, very busy. So I was walking around the event and early on I came across um Holly, which was really nice. Uh, she's a YouTuber I, I tend to watch a fair bit. If you've never heard of her channel, it's Holster TV. It was really, really nice meeting you if you're watching, Holly. It was nice to have a chat to you in general just about video games. And I hope you enjoyed the market as much as I did. Um, and thank you so much for the shout out that you gave me on your channel. I really, really appreciate that. So it was really kind. Thanks for that. So guys, um, the video game market. So as you can see by just the footage so far, this is what I picked up. Uh, so I guess I'll start at the top. So I picked up this cute little kind of Spyro. He's got a little base, which is a gem, which is so cool. He's super, super cute. Now, I just want to give a shout out to the store that I actually got this from. So that's my little Spyro. They do all kinds of designs, by the way, guys. So the store I got this off was, there's the card for it. So it, it was Doc, Dog to Who, <laughs> which is a good play of words there. Um, so yeah, they do really, really cool, creative little things. There you go. There's the back. I guess I'll try and focus in. That's their Facebook, eBay, etc. Um, it's really, really good little um, store, actually. And this little guy was only £5. I couldn't believe it. That's him disassembled. But five quid, I was just like, definitely going to grab that since I love Spyro the Dragon. Um, they also had a Crash Bandicoot, and I was devastated because I think by the time I went back, they'd sold out of that one. So I was gutted I didn't get a crash as well but that's the first pickup guys so next a little Famicom pickup <clears throat> Dr Mario this was six pound didn't bother haggling um basically I've got this like uh, how do I say it I've got this like knockoff Famicom like clone thing and I wanted to test it to see if actual carts work in it because this clone thing that I got um, has like a multi cart that plays like a hundred in one. So I wanted to see if actual carts would work in it. Plus I also have a Retron as well. So even if it doesn't work, I can play this on my Retron. So there we go. Six pound. Then we've got a Super Famicom game. Um, I've been wanting this game for a while, but I don't want to pay the price um, of the American copy. So I picked up the Japanese um, copy. This was 16. It's boxed. It's in really, really, really amazing condition. So really happy to pick this up. One of the things I really, really like about this is um, obviously the artwork on it is designed by the guy who... Um, designed the manga and anime for Dragon Ball Z so obviously that's awesome um I've never actually played this game um obviously which is why I've bought it but I've always wanted to play it so I picked it up at the game market I think it's a reasonable price and obviously it's in really really good condition so happy to grab that so didn't haggle on that either by the way guys um so there was another um oh i'll tell you who i got these games off of in a minute because i pr pr pretty much got a bunch of stuff from the same um 
the same person so i'll explain about that in a minute there was another place there um another store there selling like think of um it's like think of uh superheroes star wars characters all sorts really harry potter characters all basically sorry my camera keeps going out of focus but um basically think of those characters but drawn in like an anime kind of style so they were selling all these different pictures and i kind of like um different superheroes i grabbed this this one of aquaman which i thought was really 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 cool i'm happy to have that and these were really cheap. I think it was like £3 per picture or two for five, which I thought was a bargain. Um, my friend, who unfortunately didn't come with me to the game market, she really, really likes Doctor Strange. So I grabbed this, this one of Doctor Strange for her. So I paid five for the two. And finally, the main pickup, guys, which is the thing I'm most proud of getting... Um, I actually did a bit of haggling on this. So, basically, I've been after a TurboGrafx-16 for a while now. And I was going around the game market and I was actually looking for a PAL TurboGrafx-16. And from my knowledge, I didn't see one there. But what I did see is kind of the Japanese equivalent of a TurboGrafx-16. So... This is the PC engine and I decided to grab this in the end and what really persuaded me to get this was the fact that this thing is multi-region and it, it can play PAL, American, Japanese so it plays everything. Um, it's got a little switch on the side which allows you to um, switch between the regions and I've been dying to get one of these. Uh, what it is, guys, is I've been watching um, quite a bit of anime lately. And if you guys haven't seen it, there's um, an anime on Netflix at the moment called uh, High Score Girl. Um, and it's based on a girl, and, a, a girl and boy falling in love through their love of video games. And uh, a lot of the story has a lot to do with the turbo graphics and it sort of sparked an interest for me and i kind of watching through the anime i was like wow how cool does this look i definitely want to add one of those to my collection and i want to see what this thing is like because it looks so so fun honest to god guys so i picked this up and this guy's was actually pretty pricey because obviously it's multi-region i got this from console passion and i paid jay how much did we pay for it right. what for the for the pc engine 165. 165 that's right so we paid 165 for this for this which it, it may sound steep but i was willing to pay it um and i did pay the full price on it so i got i ended up, get, ended up getting one of these instead of a pal version of a turbo graphic 16 because obviously this is the better choice because i can play all different regions so now on to the games i picked up for it um i got some awesome awesome games for this guys i was well happy so at the top I guess you can't have a Turbo Graphics without going for um, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Got a copy of that. R Type, uh, the first R Type game. Then we've got um, Alien Crush. We've got Shadowland and uh, Genji and the Heike Clans which is awesome they're all supposed to be really really good games so i cannot wait to actually play these games guys so i got street fighter r type um shadowland and genshi and the heike clans all from the same guy i got chrono trigger i'm pretty sure we got chrono trigger and dr mario from the same guy um and this is his card big shout out to this guy because he actually gave us 
discount and he was very very helpful so this is alan's japanese retro games that's his card he actually has a facebook so go and check him out he's a really really nice um guy and he gave us a really good deal so in total i think i was supposed to pay let me work it out 20 40 50 65 67 for those four games and i think we paid 58 so we got some discount on those which was awesome so i got the pc engine from console passion and i also picked up alien crush from them and they were charging 28 for it um so i don't think we got any discount on that one not that i can remember anyway since it was um a, around a week or so ago now i i can't remember everything right now but i'm pretty sure we didn't get any discount on that one but i'm really really happy with especially this pickup um i'm really chuffed to have this in my collection um and i can't wait to play everything guys so comment below guys let me know what you guys got at the game market um i'd be happy to know what you guys picked up i'm always interested in what you guys have to say so thanks for watching my video guys and catch you on the next one the next video guys is going to be a collection video and sadly it's not going to be a xbox one collection update as of yet but it is going to be um my nintendo switch game collection which is actually a fairly decent size now guys um it was actually the birthday of the nintendo switch not too long ago now it was the other week and uh i think it's it it only seems fair that I do my collection now uh, while I've got a decent sized collection to show you guys. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.